Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, A Monk in Cloud. In this video, I'll show you how to create a beautiful web application that fetches random cloud definitions using AWS API Gateway and DynamoDB. So this project demonstrates how to leverage cloud technology to serve dynamic content in a user-friendly way. So basically, you'll learn how to set up an API with AWS API Gateway to retrieve cloud definitions from DynamoDB. Then we will define a simple yet elegant front end using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Enhance the user experience with smooth transitions and interactivity. Then we will try to deploy the same application and see it in actions. Basically, this is how the architecture diagram looks like. A user who is trying to invoke the API Gateway URL. Basically, he is making a get call request. And this API gateway will in turn speak to Lambda function and it invokes the Lambda functions. And this Lambda function queries the DynamoDB table and it fetches the random cloud definition and provide it to the API gateway. And later the API gateway will return the same response to the user. So basically a client interacts, a user opens the web application and clicks the button to get a random cloud application or cloud definition, and then the API gateway, the browser sends the HTTP GET request to the API gateway. The API gateway triggers the Lambda function to handle the request, and the Lambda function queries the DynamoDB table for random cloud definition. And this Lambda function returns the definition to the API gateway, which then sends it back to the client browser for the display. Firstly, uh, so if you are trying to build this project, it is one of the beautiful one. Uh, if you see here, this is how you get it, right? So if you click on this get another definition, you're going to get a, a new cloud definition. That's all. So we are using um, DynamoDB table, Lambda function, API gateway. And if you want to host this application, you can use S3 or uh, EC2 instance. So to keep it simple, what I'm doing is I'm going to keep the HTML or the front end application on my local machine and then deploy the API gateway, DynamoDB and Lambda functions. So firstly, what I've done is to insert a definition. So I have taken some random 100 definition cloud definitions and I'm going to create a DynamoDB table called cloud definitions. OK, inside that cloud definitions, I'm going to insert these 100 uh, defini cloud definitions and I'm going to put that, I mean, making a put call to that DynamoDB and it will store these definitions in the DynamoDB table. OK, so this is one thing. Uh, basically, I'm going to run this code on my local machine and then upload this. OK, so once the definitions are uploaded into the uh, DynamoDB table, so we are going to build this project. So uh, to get started, so let's clone this repository. Go ahead, uh, get the HTTP URL. So copy this one. Open a terminal or whichever the uh, you know machine that you are using. Uh, go ahead and use that. I'll just say git clone, and I'll just uh, paste the uh, URL that I just copied, and I'll hit enter. Basically, I'm in my downloads folder, so let me open this one in my uh, favorite uh, editor. So I'm gonna go inside here and open this. Okay, I trust the authors, and if you see here, uh, this is the exact same code that we have now. I need to upload this into my cloud definition DynamoDB table. So firstly, um, I should uh, download Boto3 and also upload this. So first, let's go ahead and create a, a, a DynamoDB table called cloud definition. So let me log into my AWS console and search for DynamoDB table. And here, we need to create a table with this name. So let me click on create table. I'll provide the name as cloud definition. Partition key, I'm going to use ID. OK, so scroll all the way day, down, keep everything else as default and click on create table. So this will take few seconds to create. So let's give it a moment and uh, come back once it is done. I think it's already done. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and create um, uh, security credentials or uh, API keys that are required for me to interact with AWS. So I'm going to go and select IAM. I'll go to users. I'll select my user, go to security credential, and I'm going to create 
uh, access key okay so don't worry in production you should never use access key okay uh, you should be using roles or you should be using uh, different ways to interact with aws but as this is a demonstration i'm i'm going to show the keys to you as well but i'm i'm just going to make sure that i'm going to delete it after this video is recorded okay so even if you use the same access key do not think that you'll be able to access my aws account okay let's go ahead and click on create access key I'll, I'll just uh, create this for command line interface. I'll just uh, click on the confirmation and I'll click on next and I'll create the access key. Now what we need to do, just copy this one. Let's go into the browser, I mean uh, the VS code. I'll open the, the terminal here. I'll just say, so firstly we need to import Boto3, right? So firstly we need to install Boto3. So we'll say pip install Boto3. And if it is already there, it is going to give you this. If it is not, it is going to install it. Okay, so this looks good. That is the first step. Now we need to authorize to AWS. So for that, you can write or you can use AWS configure. But for that, you need to install AWS CLI. How do we install that? You can go to browser and search for AWS CLI install and uh, give, uh, you know, whatever the machine type that you're using just go ahead and use that okay so let me show that to you once and if you go into this uh, first link you will see the installation guide uh, for linux you need to use this for windows you need to use this okay we, if that is clear let's go ahead and run sorry let's let me open vs core you just need to run aws configure and you need to paste the the access key that you copied i'll hit enter now let's go back to the console again i'll copy the secret key as well i'll just copy and paste that and i'll hit enter i'll just leave us east one as default i'll go ahead and enter enter and that's all okay so make sure that the user has proper permission to access all the required details else it is going to fail okay now i'll click on done and that's all you have to do here i'll click on continue okay so this is good now what we need to do is we need to execute this command or this particular code in order for us to insert this data, this 100 cloud definitions into the DynamoDB table. Basically what we are trying to do is, we are uploading some 100 uh, you know, uh, definition, cloud definitions, and this API interacts with a uh, Lambda function, and this Lambda function calls the DynamoDB table, and it queries randomly out of 100, it is going to give you one query. Okay, so that is what we are trying to do. Now let me go back here. So uh, first let's go ahead and run this. So what I'll do is I'll just clear the screen for you to see it. And let me also show you that here, if you go inside cloud definition, if you explore tables, you do not have any items actually, right? Now let's go ahead and run this. So what you can do is you can just say Python, Python three, and you can give insert because insert definitions.py and if you hit enter so it is going to take some time for, to upload or to put all these definitions into the DynamoDB table and once that is done you will get a message saying that it has successfully uploaded uploaded all the definitions so if you go back here and if you try to refresh here you should be seeing you see you already have 50 entries so you need to wait for another 50 and it is completely random if you see here these are all the definition and this is the corresponding ID. Okay, so that is what we have given here as well. And if you see here, it said uh, definitions inserted successfully. Okay, so this is all you have to do in order for you to keep the uh, DynamoDB table up and running. So let's refresh again and you should be seeing 100 entries. And if you see here, 99 is there somewhere here, you will also find 100. Okay, so this is all you have to do. Now let's go ahead and see what we have to do next. So. Firstly, we have this DynamoDB table and we need to cre create a Lambda function name called get a random quote. And we also need to configure the API gateway and the uh, things like that, okay? Let's go to the AWS console again. Let's open Lambda function. So let's go ahead and open Lambda functions and I'll create a function. I'm gonna author it from scratch. So I'm just gonna name this as get random quote. And if you ask me where is the Lambda function code, you all right. For the Lambda function, go ahead and select this one. So you have a code ready here. Basically, let me explain what we are trying to do here. Firstly, we are trying to import all the libraries. Then we are trying to initialize the Boto3, or sorry, DynamoDB resource. 
and here we are giving the uh, you know we are adding the table name as uh, cloud definition table okay actually it is cloud definitions that's all yeah we need to edit this one so let me make that change here okay so this should be good now let me commit the change right here okay so this is uh, that and then we are trying to fetch all the cloud definitions from the DynamoDB table and then we are trying to pick a random cloud definition and then we are uh, if there is any uh, errors we are handling it here okay so let's just copy this code let's go back to our lambda function okay uh, I need to select python 3.10 so that should be good and here I'll change the um, change and use the existing role here I'll go with test lambda basically I've given administrator privileges but you can just give a uh, DynamoDB put get and uh, create um, uh, commands or the actions okay so now like let's create the function okay so after the function is created so let me just uh, remove this default code and paste the code that I just copied I'll click on deploy okay this should be good next let's go back to the repository so after creating the lambda function we need to create a api gateway so i just copy this one i'll go to aws console and open api gateway okay so if it is not here go ahead and search for api okay so let's go ahead and create an api gateway okay so we need to select rest api so i'll click on build i'm going to give this a name as code generator and i'll paste the same and click on create api once api is created we need to create a resource called code so let me just copy that let me go here let's click on create resource and i'll say code here and enable a chorus because if you create an option method that allows all uh, origins methods and several headers you need this one so i'll click on create now so uh, let's wait until the resource is created okay so let's clear this out and if you see here quote is already created so let's also create a method i'll click on create method and i'll select get method here and i'm going to integrate with lambda function so that should be fine and i'll here i need to select the lambda function that i just created that's get random code i'm going to select that one and leave everything else as is and create a method so this is all you have to do so let's see if that is created or not and let's also go here and we also need to enable chorus if you forgot that so enable this uh, i'll just select default of uh, 5xs and this one i'll just save it okay so chorus is also enabled now uh, let's go ahead and see what we have next so once you have everything ready you need to uh, deploy this one right so let's go back to api gateway deploy api gateway select a new stage let me name this as prod okay so that should be good and i click on create or deploy so once this is deployed so let's select uh, the actual get request here this is the invoke url okay so what you have to do is just copy this one go to a browser and paste this url and if you hit enter you should be getting a random uh, you know cloud definition if you see here you're getting cloud broker acts as an intermediary between cloud service provider and consumer basically when we hit this one it is you know it in the background this lambda function is querying the dynamo db table and if you see here cloud broker acts as an intermediate person so let me just copy this i'm not hard coding this one so let me go and let me just scroll this a bit let me search for this okay and let's close this and here if i search for yeah if you see here 34th definition is this one cloud broker acts as this one okay so that is uh, actually calling the uh, dynamo db table and it is giving you the results okay now let's do one thing what we need to do is let's just go to api gateway copy this invoke url go to your code go inside this index.html and here if you see here i've given a placeholder where you can actually add your lambda uh, url so sorry your api gateway url so if you see here you just need to replace this let me just replace that okay now i'll save it Let, let's open this index.html and see if you're getting that or not okay so let me go inside this and i'll open index.html if you see here 
we are actually seeing a definition. If you see, serverless architecture allows for the execution of code without managing the server infrastructure. Now let's click on get another definition. You should be getting another one. Private cloud is a cloud computing model dedicated to a single organization enhancing security and control. Let's click on another one. You'll get another one. Click another one, you'll get another one, right? So this is one of the beautiful project. I think you can go ahead and deploy this front end on an EC2 instance or an S3 bucket, and you can get a response like the way that I'm getting, right? And if you want to contribute to this project, go ahead and fork this uh, repository, start this one uh, like I did, and you can use this. And this is just a basic thing, guys. But if you want to build on top of this, this is where you can get started, right? Uh, actually, you should not hard code the uh, you know uh, Lambda function URL directly here. So we are using this API gateway invoke URL, and this should be good, right? So this is how you develop this project. But if you want to improve this, and if you want to create this for a DevOps or for something else, go ahead and do that. And also, you can also give some idea on how we can improve uh, this definitions, right? So I have picked random 100 definitions, but you can also do that, right? So try use ChatGPT. Pretty much I use ChatGPT to get all this, you know, definition. I did not create them because I do not, I'm not good at defining things, right? So this is how you can leverage ChatGPT and the generative AI. Uh, so if this looks good and if you're liking the content that I'm creating, please consider subscribing and share it with your friends. And if you're building this project along with me, make sure to tag us on the social media platforms so that we will reshare and let the community know that you are building this project. All right. So that's all I've had for this video. Thank you. And I will see you in the next one.